Good morning, y'all. Let me back up a little bit. Got uh, the camera focused on this, and I'll talk on that for a minute. But I wanted to show you this, too. This is a box cutter. And when you get them, you want to... Our utility knife, it's known. It slide, you use your thumb here to slide this part up and down. It makes the razor blade come out. But when you first get it, and I don't have a screwdriver, so I'm using a knife. When you first get it, they don't have a blade up there yet. So you have to uh, open this screw. And when you look inside, they'll have the uh, razor blades in there for you. So, we're going to make this happen real quick. Then I'm going to open this box. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, tell you about this. This is, uh, we went to the store this morning. If you saw the uh, video that we did earlier, Eric was taking the video, so I don't know that it, that it was clear or not. I was so excited. I was giddy. But anyways, uh, so we had to go up to the store this morning and drop off one of those uh, buffets that, uh, that I got. And we brought the other one home, which I'll do here somewhere. And then we had to work on our espresso machine at work. So we're working on the espresso machine, and I'm going through the store looking for this and that that we may need. And uh, I saw a bunch of boxes in the mailbox. And I looked at the first one and had my granddaughter Jocelyn's name on it. She's uh, four. And I'm like, what the heck did Jocelyn get at work in the mail, you know? And uh, so now I've got that screw completely out. So when you get this, uh, the side screw, I've got it completely out. And let's see if I can get it open. How this opens. Ah. Um, so there was another box exactly like the first one. And it said Jewel on it. That's my other granddaughter. And she's 11. I'm like, what the heck? Are these kids getting uh, packages for at work? Um... Look, here's the a whole stack of razor blades was in there. And uh, and they just came out this end down here. So I'm going to slide this over to where I can get one out. They're kind of stuck together. Looks like there's three of them in there. And that's where you store them at so you don't lose them. Scoot it back up in there. Close that shut. But i got to be able to get this other end open. If this came with instructions, I done threw them away. Okay, look here at the top it's sliding apart there's a little catchy so I'm pulling that out and there's the storage for the razor blades and um, get it back in there how it goes how did that go I know they were stored up in there um, figure that out in a minute here's a gadget that slides back and forth that must be where the other razor blade goes in there Anyway, so then there was a third box, and it was to my daughter Candy, who works there. So, I called Candy, and I'm like, you know, there's packages up here that have the girls' names on them, and I see a monkey st uh, stamped on the top of this label right here. I'm like, that's Junk Monkey Paint Company, and she doesn't paint. She sews. She's a seamstress. And I'm like, why do you have a... A junk monkey paint company why do you have some junk monkey and she bought it for me I'm so excited they had some new colors something new I was wanting to try um, like a new metallic and uh, there's got to be a way for this to slide y'all and I don't see it see those hooks on the back of there that's got to be able to hook into something and I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out anyway so I brought it home before I and I did not open it yet. And I'm going to open that in front of y'all and see what candy got me. It's so nice to get a surprise. And in the other boxes for Jesslyn and Jewel were uh, EpiPens. They're uh, Obby-Q's uh, EpiPens. So uh, we had my, if you saw that video, I had my grandson with me. So we dropped him and the EpiPens back off at their house on our way home. Wish Eric was in here with me because I have no idea what I'm doing. I ain't never put one of these things together before. I thought we were going to learn this together and right now what we're learning is I don't know how to do it. I can see this metal piece that's in there is moving the part that slides it up and down in there. 
So this has got to go in that. And the angle of the blade needs to match this, right? Maybe not. Maybe it needs to go the other direction. So that was their EpiPens because they both have uh, life-threatening food allergies. So, okay, it's fitting in this little gadget here, inside there. And so their new EpiPens were in. You know, you pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for those things, and then they expire. Whether you've used them or not, you gotta trash them because you need them to be safe, to save your life. Okay, this ain't gonna work. I'm gonna get a class from Eric on how to do this, and then I'll come back and show y'all because I have no idea. I'm gonna use this uh, knife right here uh, and, and unbox that. But let me show you the issue with this first, and I hope that you can see it. Right here in the center, I talked about the uh, the decorative piece that was there, and there was no screw to it on the inside. It's just a, a, like a decorative thing that's probably kind of like stapled in there. And then the hardware, I spray painted it, but I put it back in exactly the same place that it came from. So there were three on this bottom drawer, two on this top drawer, and then this decorative piece. Well, whenever I called Eric in here last night to like, uh, come look at it. I'm like, oh, come look at my piece. I finished it, and you know, I like to shock him with the colors and all that. He's like, well, you put that thing on there wrong. I'm like, I didn't put that thing on there. It was there already. So this is a piece of furniture that that came from a furniture store. You know, somebody probably paid several hundred dollars for it, and these things were the brassy looking gold before. And this, see here, if I did this. If I come up the center of this piece here, which is supposed to be the center of this drawer, and come up with this, up to the center of this, it's off by almost an entire inch. So, if you actually came down here and looked at this handle as well, which it didn't move, it's right the same place that it was, it's about a half an inch too far to the right, and this thing is almost an entire inch too far to the right so the whole thing now looks sloppy and misaligned and I didn't notice it before and it's not my fault it was always that way it's been here in our house for years and I never noticed it but now it sticks out like a sore thumb well if I was to just pop this off there's no paint under there this has already been been uh, cleaned primed two coats of paint two coats of wax over this so I don't know that I would be able to smooth this off and normally you don't paint over wax so I'm still trying to think of a solution and the only thing I can think of now is that we pop this thing off and just put a larger something there that's the only thing I can think of to do because I'm going to see if I can bring you down and show you a little closer because I don't know if it's showing The detail is much from back there. Oops. Sorry about that. This is the piece that I'm talking about. And it's, see here, there's the center of the bottom. See where that goes into that at? Here's the center of this piece, but it needs to be moved over here. So it's going to look like I did something wrong if I don't fix it. So now I'm mad. I thought oh, this would be done and I would bring it to work today and, and it would be finding its new home and all those kind of things and and now there's now there's a stick in my mud so I don't know what to do about it but here's my junk monkey this is what I'm excited about um, I have no idea what colors in here because candy bought it for me thank you I have I have the best kids um, Mandy my oldest daughter is fabulous she's like gift giver extraordinaire I think she spends all year long uh, picking out my Christmas gifts this year she got me this necklace that has all kinds of crystals in it and some kind of twirly gig that's supposed to make only good things happen in my life and that's pretty dang cool and candy's very crafty she makes me stuff and my son andrew he, he's just awesome so i'm very lucky that way so for somebody who has a buttload of paint already this is a surprise to know what's in here but i really wanted to try her new metallics let's see what we've got You've got Happy Mail from Pickles and Petunia. Yay! 
that's what they name their uh, their mascot at Junk Monkey is a monkey. And actually, um, I watch. I'm in a membership group, a business membership group with uh, Sonya Miller, who owns Junk Monkey Paint Company. And I learned so much from her. She's like my idol. That woman is like the Energizer Bunny. She gets so much done. Um. And it's giving you info about the milk paint. I've never used milk paint, so I know nothing about it. And it gives info about the chalky style paint. And, and that's pretty awesome. There's I've never received information on how to use the paint with any other company. So that's pretty dang cool. Yep. Ooh, milkshake. That's their milk paint. <laughs> okay, we're going to learn to use milk paint on here, y'all. This is a very pretty color. It's almost, it's almost like that, uh, the color of the year, which is sort of a peachy kind of color. This says wild salmon. That's awesome. Can you see that from there? Let me bring it up closer. Wild salmon. That's pretty. That's going to be a very pretty color. It's my understanding that, uh, Milk paint does the chippy style finish, and I've not done a chippy style finish. I, I want to. I haven't yet because I'm nervous that I'll do it wrong. I think this is all powder. Makes one pint of paint. 100% VOC free, non-toxic. Use extra bond to improve adhesion on non-porous surfaces. See DIY tutorials at JunkMonkeyPaint.com. Here's directions and what to do. That's cool. And what an easy way to send paint. That's, that's pretty awesome. Hey, okay, what else do we have? We have a newspaper. I think they live in Pennsylvania. So this is the Pittsburgh Gazette. How about that? My husband's from West Virginia, and they're football rivals with Pitt. So I'm not sure if you'll read that paper. What is this? Oh, this is the new shiny. This is it. This is it. <laughs> Big shiny dreams for your furniture. Champagne color. One step metallic paint and sealer. This is what, <laughs> this must be what Candy heard me talking about. So this is what I got. I'm excited to see that. Yay! I'm going to open it in just a second. What is this? Extra bond for use with Junk Monkey. Milkshake milk paint helps to improve adhesion on non-porous surfaces. Okay, that's awesome. So I guess that goes with the milk paint. Definitely going to be milk painting. Learning the milk paint. I have some junk monkey paint before, so I know that's what this is. Berry dance. Oh my goodness, this is like a, I think, I've only seen it from afar, like a bright magenta color, which I've been wanting. I don't know how, I must talk a lot, how my kids know me so well. Raising the bar, it's purple. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I better spread this paper out so that I don't um, spill this paint on top of you and then I'll have two problems. Last night I had a, uh, here it is, a paint can opener. Let me see. Oh, oh, look, there's something else. I would have missed it. <laughs> look, a little teeny tiny. That must be for the milk paint. I have one not much bigger than this that I mix salad dressings with whenever I make salad dressings. I'm so excited. wonder if I could use, I'm scared. I'll have to read up on it. wonder if I, and watch some of her videos. wonder if I can use uh, this milk paint on one of the new, uh, buffets that I got. I don't know how to get these clips off. How do you do that? Does it just pop off? I'm so excited to see this. I've never seen. Uh, purple's my favorite color and, and a lot of the paint companies don't carry a purple and none have a true purple and I know that uh, Junk Monkey came out with this Raising the Bar just a few months ago and from what I've seen in Sonya's videos it's fantabulously purple and I've been wanting, I have a little piece that I bought off of the market pace from somebody for $50. It's not what it looked like. It looked like a, a buffet in the picture. And then the lady got here with it and it's like one foot off the ground. It's the craziest little piece. So we're going to have to uh, 
make some legs for it to make it tall enough to be useful for anything. But I was thinking, you know what? I don't know what that thing is. We're gonna have to mess with it anyways. I'm gonna paint it purple. So this could not have come. This is very heavy. This is nice, a nice, this is a plastic container. So it's not gonna be like uh, some of the other paints where it uh, rusts inside of there. I really like that. Oh, I'm so excited. Please let it be beautiful. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm probably going to get this blue thing out of here today. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And the same thing like we did with this yesterday with that bright blue. And then going over it with a dark wax. This reminds me of Mardi Gras a little bit. But I bet this would give a vibrant look to that, uh, to that little short piece that we have to make some legs for. Um... Oh, look, I'm able to pop that back in there. Usually I'm looking for something to hammer around my hands. Um, oh my gosh, I want to look at the berry ants. Um, but anyways, I bet that would allow it to be purple and allow it to be a statement piece in someone's room, but not uh, have it be, you know, gaudy and outlandish. There, I know a lot of people, and maybe it's just the Louisiana thing, but a lot of people whose favorite color is purple. My mama's favorite color was purple. My cousin Kay's favorite color was purple. My friend Sherry's favorite color is purple. Them LSU Tigers uniforms are fine. And that's some purple. Okay. That's kind of smart that they put those clips around that edge to hold that shut too. Nothing has spilled anywhere at all on here. Oh, I'm excited. It don't take much, y'all. It don't take... Oh, my goodness gracious. Wow. This reminds... I could lick it. Looks like Laffy Taffy. Look how vibrant that is. That's gorgeous. This is a, a chalky style paint. And it has a, an, a, like an acrylic base in it. So you don't have to top coat it. <clears throat> but you can so I'll be able and it's very thick like that and I know from experience from watching Sonya that I'll be able to get uh, good coverage out of it and um, And use cool finishes on top of it. I'm excited. I'm definitely I think gonna use that on one of the buffets. I'm gonna do I told Eric on the way home I think what I'm gonna do is do one of them probably the one at work that has like the classic straight lines and everything on it I'm going to do it in, uh, like, neutral colors. And then the one that has the round legs that I was so excited about, I'm going to just put, use all kinds of bright, beautiful colors on there. Like a sunset. I, I don't know what all I'm going to do. But I may could use this berry dance on there. And I may could use this salmon. And that's almost neutral enough. But I don't know if you can, I don't know if I want it to be chippy. And I don't know... Um, if you can mix, um, milk paint with other kinds of paint, I'll have to research that. I've really just never done it. So that's exciting to be able to do something new. I'm just kind of popping this, uh, paint can opener underneath these clips and pulling them off that held the can shut during transport. This is exciting to me. This is new. This is brand new. I don't even think this is this uh, champagne metallic has even been out a month yet. I can't believe I have some of it. I use their uh, banana peel, which is like a, a matte top coat. I use that all the time. And I have like a bright, uh, kind of a bright peachy color. That I use that I used like in part of painting the bathroom floor at the store. I painted a big flower on the floor in there. Oh my goodness, that's not what I expected at all. I think uh, let me see. I think I probably need to stir it. It looks silver, but it needs to be stirred. It has the sort of the consistency of. Uh, 
oh my gosh, as I'm stirring it, the gold is coming up. It's making the champagne color. It just needed, to, oh man, this is so pretty. I wish y'all could see. Let's see if I can make it to where you can see a little bit. Do you see as I'm stirring how the gold is coming up into the, in with the silver? Oh man. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh man. And you, it's the consistency of a top coat. See how thin it is? So that's what your, uh, you know, like a water-based poly. It's like the consistency of a water-based poly. Oh man, and it's like it's pearly. It's kind of like a pearlescent looking, but there's silver swirls and there's gold swirls. And I'm guessing that it mixes in as you paint with it. See how it's getting more champagne-y looking as I stir? I did not, I, I've never seen anything like it. I'm so excited. I don't even, it's, it, I'm trying my best, and I know I'm sounding silly right now. This is exciting to me. I'm trying my best to, it's, it, it has that shimmer like the outside of a real pearl or like the inside of an oyster shell. That's gorgeous. I, I just don't even know what to say or what to think. I've never had anything like that. It, you're going to see this soon. That, wow. I can't stop stirring it. As, you, as you're stirring it, it's like it. you see the colors together. That's so gorgeous, y'all. We're definitely going to see this in the near future. That may be what gives the, um, sort of the, What's the word I'm looking for? The subdued uh, buffet. It's a little bit of something, something. You know what I mean? I, I haven't decided on the colors because this just all happened. We just picked those up this morning. I dropped that one off at work. And uh, the other one's still in the back of the trailer because that's... Uh, weatherproof it's it's airtight in there and i told eric i didn't want it out any place where the weather could get to it and swell up any of it in the seams or anything i just messaged the lady back because when i got there to get those this morning it was uh hey sonia i was just talking about you my daughter bought me this paint and I am so, I'm, I'm just, I, I can't believe it. I, I, I just did the, and I don't know if you saw that part of it. I just opened the, uh, and she had to have heard me talking about it because I was so excited and had not bought it for myself yet. The champagne color, the new, it, it, I've never seen anything like it. I, I'm so amazed and I've, I don't even know what to do with it. I looking like a, a kid at Christmas opening that. I know I'm so excited. And I'm uh I'm definitely and I've I've never used milk paint before and that's brand new to me. And she got me the extra bond. I have no idea what I'm gonna use it on because I've never used it, but I'm gonna go watch your videos and see. And I've I've ever actually never watched any of the milk paint videos because I don't know how. But she got me uh Raising the bar, because purple's my favorite color, and the, uh, what was the other one called? Berry Dance. I'm so excited, but what I'm so excited about is I'm just amazed. It looks, I was just explaining, I don't know how long you've been on here. It looks like the inside of an oyster shell to me. It's, it's glistening like the outside of a pearl, and I can see gold, and I can see silver, and, and I just don't even know what to do with myself. I'm like a kid at Christmas. I'm so excited, and... I have the best kids in the world. <laughs> so, yes, can my daughter Candy. That's what I was saying earlier, that I got to work, to work on the espresso machine and to drop off the new, uh, uh, one of the new buffets that I got today. And there were all these boxes in there. And one had Jocelyn's name on it, and she's four. I'm like, what is she getting? And it was EpiPens. There was one for Jewel, who's 11, and it's EpiPens. And the other one said Candy's name on it, but it had the Junk Monkey Monkey on it. And I called her. I'm like, what are you getting? from junk monkey you didn't tell me and she's like it's for you <laughs> so i'm so excited excited to get to use it and definitely going to be sharing it in lives on here and i don't even know what to do with myself i'm so thankful i'm so excited about this i never i just couldn't imagine what it looked like when i saw you using it 
and now I'm excited to figure out what I can use it on. I know I, I have the best kids ever. And so be looking forward. I'm gonna probably use the purple on a little piece that I have. And I told my husband this morning, I'm probably gonna do one of those buffets, the one with the clean lines and more subdued colors, but the one with the rounded bottoms, I wanna do bright pinks and oranges and, and gorgeous things, but I have something else. Purple's my favorite color that I can use that on. So. This is gonna be the one I'm gonna be watching the Junk Monkey videos on to learn how to use. I've never in my whole life used uh, milk paint. Have no idea how, so there'll be definitely a project within the next week or two on that, and I'm excited. So, thank you, Sonya, I appreciate that, and thank y'all for watching. Talk to you soon, bye. I know, I, I just, I opened it and uh, just a minute ago, and I was really impressed with these clips that were, that were holding everything in there, too. This purple is, I live in Louisiana, so this is like a Mardi Gras purple, and this is like the LSU Tigers purple. It doesn't, whenever seeing it on, like when you're painting with it, you can't, you can't see what I can see here right now. I mean, this is just... I could eat it up. This is like Laffy Taffy to a, to a, me in seventh grade. <laughs> it, it's awesome. So awesome. So I can't, I'm excited to, to figure out what I'm going to paint with them. Candy, if you're watching, thank you. You're one of the three best kids ever. <laughs> and it, it's a, it's a beautiful wow color. Sonia, what I was thinking about with it, I don't know if you can see underneath, I have something that I painted on here yesterday with a cobalt blue with the black wax. And I'm wondering, because I like a vibrant purple, whether it would be smart to um, mix up a black wax to do that if I'm putting it on. I don't I just don't know what I'm going to do. And then whenever I opened this, now I, I, <laughs> I want it on everything. We need to buy it by the gallon. Um, anyways, thank y'all for watching. And be looking for all these colors soon. I'm so excited. Thanks. Bye.